and welcome to episode number seven of Between Two Eagles. I have a joke for you. Why did the little bird get in trouble at school? I don't know. He got caught peeping on a test. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, today we have guest Tim Livingston. Woo! Tim, tell us what you do here at Elma High School. I am the his new history teacher for sophomores and juniors. Cool. And uh, a little bird told me um, that you have some spectacular travel background. Can you tell me about that? Um, yes, I, uh, I've traveled quite a bit. I taught for the last seven years in Beirut, Lebanon, and being able in the, in the Mediterranean, we're able to travel around quite a bit. Yeah. I feel like this is the Mediterranean of the United States. Yes, of course. Yes, for sure. All right, thank you. Um, okay, Mr. Resnan, last week we talked about EduGuide. Um, emails should be sent out. What do I do now? Well, so just check your emails and and, uh, and respond. So keep in mind that this is not extra work. The idea for this is to is to simply that you have contact with somebody um, within the school, your coach, and and it gives you an opportunity just to express yourself and and have some non-educational dialogue. So. How's your experience been? Uh, good. As a coach, I think I have five people in my team now, so that's good exciting. Um, I'm hoping the other 65 of you will check your email soon. <laughs> um, but if if you haven't, um, I would recommend doing an email inbox dump. So get in there, delete all the old stuff, and find mine for that gold, right? Right, right. And if you type in the search, E-D-U-G-U-I-D-E, -E, that email will come right up. All right. Um, also, today is the second day of Food Bowl and our first drive through food collection. Mr. Livingston, you were working this morning. How'd it go? It was great. It was a good day. Be out with, in the community and get to see kids and start to uh, see that food come in. A little bit of money as well. How is it? Is it easy to see the Food Bowl where it's at in the high school parking lot? I mean, there's a bus out there. There's what a bus. And, and flashing lights. <laughs> yes. We have our, our awesome. local fire department uh, dropped a vehicle, and uh, we have a gigantic bus. So hopefully when you drive by, you can see it. If you missed us today, you can come next Friday, 8 to 4 p.m., um, and be on the lookout for posts on Elma High School's Facebook, Elma ASB Leadership's Facebook, and our district Facebook as well. All right, um, now that we are officially in the second quarter, uh, what advice do you guys have for students as, as new second quarter starts? Oh, great advice. I would say just make sure you're staying caught up. I saw a lot of kids last quarter really get behind and didn't know how to dig themselves out of the hole. So just really stay caught up and making sure that you're communicating with your teachers. And that's really good. Um, if you feel like the hole that you got in in the first quarter was just too deep, remember, you get .25 credit now for second quarter um, for passing that, which is gonna be a huge help on your transcripts. So if, if it could be a fresh start for you, if it's what you needed. Yeah, um, and ultimately I wanna say take care of yourself. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer out here, but um, we're moving into cold and flu season and it's dark and it's cold and it's rainy and there's a lot of things that can get us down but make sure you take care of yourself um, stay strong with school and uh, find what self-care helps you that's that's going to be good for your body and your your mind and your soul absolutely anything else team what do you think i think that about covers it i'd say go eagles go, go eagles, eagles.